Oh, this is a terrible angle. <laughs> Who got that picture of me up there? That's crazy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Jesus loves you, but I don't. God, can we get a burp counter? Shit fucking burns worse than a UTI. I'm screaming. The fupa? Oh, and hello, welcome back to Time with Tally. So, my name is Tally. Welcome to my channel if you've never been here before. I do lifestyle fitness and a little bit of beauty content going on, so I hope you stick around. This video is actually the pilot vlog for a little series I'm gonna do where I bring you guys to work out with me. I'll bring you through my whole workout split and record along the way. Duh. <laughs> Today I have some really exciting news for y'all that I had mentioned in my previous video. I kind of alluded to it. No, I lied. I blatantly actually told you what the news was. <laughs> Today I actually am exposing one of the new brands that I'm officially an affiliate for. I've had my eyes on this brand slash company slash person for quite a while, and I'm so excited to announce. Drum roll, please. Drrr. I'm officially an affiliate with Natty Superstore. I am... <laughs> so over the moon right now. And this is not no fake shit. Like I'm not no fake ass bitch. I'm being so dead serious right now. I have been watching their stuff for so long and watching Goob, of course. What Goob does and what Goob stands for is really just the truth. And I am shamelessly a fan. <laughs> Your girl got a coat finally somewhere. <laughs> I'll be linking the store and my code down below and in here somewhere. <laughs> So be sure if you need any type of supplement or anything else, check out that store and then use my code time with tally for 10% off. Jesus. Ah! It's here. Let's open this bitch up. Oh. Ah. Ah. This is it. My exposed pre-workout um, frosted blue raspberry. It obviously has goob on the front. And it's actually so funny because I actually saw that they posted that they were actually out of stock with the blue raspberry like immediately after I ordered it. So I'm going to safely assume that I probably got the last one and I'm not mad. Y'all should have been faster. Bye. So we're gonna have a little bit of this before I go to the gym. Let's get right into it. Y'all don't understand how much it actually means to me to be a part of a company that stands for the truth. If you don't know Goob, obviously I'll put Goob's Instagram in my description box below. Goob does videos on Instagram that exposes people in the fitness industry mostly. Men, women, doesn't matter who you are. Doesn't matter what color, size, shape you are. He exposes those people for being pieces of shit. A lot of your, what he calls shitfluencers or influencers that you follow online, a lot of them are photoshopping all of their images and, and trying to sell you an image of something that's not attainable naturally in a sense. We all know how that can actually influence the mind of young people and people that are already insecure about themselves. I love that he does this because this is a big reason as to why I felt insecure in the past and got the surgery that I did. My photos on my Instagram are not photoshopped, those are me. So I just wanna say, I've also been on this train of, you know, posting non-filtered pictures. Some pictures have filters, but they're more like color alterations. I don't have any pictures I think on my Instagram that have been photoshopped. I know I did one photo shoot back a few years that I think the photographer photoshopped, um, but I think I got rid of all of those because I think it's really important to practice what you preach. The bottle reads that it's a high stimulant, half a scoop to start. I don't know how crazy it's gonna affect and that's what we are gonna do. I think we're gonna hit some legs today and do some quads and hammies to start the week. I don't know if I mentioned before, it has 350 milligrams of caffeine in it, so I'm ready to be like a fucking menace to society when I hit the gym. Let's go. All right, y'all, so we just made it to the gym. I'm about to go hit some legs. I gotta be honest, I'm a little shaky, but I don't think it's from like the pre-workout or anything. It's just, so I just kind of like shot my shot at another like content creator that goes to my gym. Human interaction is still a little nerve wracking at times, of course, especially like when you're shooting your shot at another person for content creating and you're a total stranger, like, ah! But I think I did good. I sounded professional and nice. He seemed like he was really down, so I'm really excited. That's another reason I actually joined this gym because lots of content creators and stuff come here and they're super nice and everybody minds their business. <laughs> we're content coming for y'all. All right, so y'all were with me the last time I did the leg press at this place. The other one was a little bit too close for my liking. So we're gonna try a different one because my friend showed me this one. So my first time on it though. <laughs> he said he liked this one better, so I'm gonna try it. Also, I don't have my standing tripod, so we're gonna have to deal with a little handheld one for today. I was gonna start with squats, but another person was on the squat rack, so I'll go there after. Let's go. Let's 
my favorite noise. Hold on. This noise right here? <laughs> I have another month left. My last month in this bulk, y'all. I start my cut on April 1st. Wish me luck. We're going for three plates now. Let's go. So let me tell you something. Your shorts right up, let them. I don't even care. Still looks crazy, but whatever. Bon appetit, baby. Bon appetit is right. Go for five. Go for five. Ooh. I'm on the menu. I mean. So it was either that pre-workout or I'm just getting fucking stronger, period. Yeah, this bulk is bulking. I think I'm gonna go for six plates because the five actually didn't feel bad at all. We're gonna go for it. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> if I get one, I'm happy. <laughs> there comes a certain point where you just frankly stop giving a fuck if your rolls come out or your shorts roll up. I'm at that point. My whole ass and coochie are eating up these shorts right now. And do I frankly give a fuck? No, because I'm sweating it's like crazy. Make sure your hair is up. I feel like I'm getting older. I feel it in my joints. I feel it in every single articulation of my body. I ate well actually before I came here. And by well, I mean I had rice, I had noodles, I had some shrimp and chicken. I had hibachi last night. It was so good. <laughs> and sushi, period. I'm screaming. The fupa or the fopa. I think this is actually one of my favorite gym outfits. I always feel like so pretty when I wear it, but also like a badass because these like sports bras, they just make me feel so wide up here. I mean, I am. I hit chest, don't play with me. I love this outfit. I love the blue with my hair. Makes me feel nice. All right, let's go. Did I ever tell y'all that I still haven't hit two plates on a squat because I'm way too fucking scared? <laughs> Maybe today. Maybe even if it's for one. I'm scared. Uh, I'm a lady, I promise. Uh, Alright, this is the most weight I've done. I've only ever done a plate in a 25 on each side. So. Like my friends always say, you know, the view is actually important. You have to respect the weight, you know? People can really injure themselves and like almost die. I try my best, I'm never perfect, of course, because I'm not no trainer or nothing, but I will always fear the weight, I can say that right now. One injury takes me out for weeks, I'm like, I'm good with that. Let's see. When I say, I'm literally fucking shaking right now, I'm so scared. It's just the bar. It's just the bar. Just one. I'm checking myself out, I can't do it. No, I can't do it, I really can't. 
Oh, don't get me wrong, I think everybody's great and nice and everything, but it's very different to ask for a spot when you're doing chest or like upper body. I never want to ask a guy for a spot while doing squats because I just never want them to like get the wrong idea or something. You never know, like not because no, I'm not, I'm not saying like that they're gonna think like I want them or anything. I just don't want to put anybody in an uncomfortable position. You know what I'm saying? You never know like how people are gonna feel about that. If people have relationships and stuff like that. And the last thing I would want is somebody to be like, feel awkward for saying no to me or something. Like I don't want them to feel pressured or anything to say yes to help me out. I know how to safely fail <laughs> squat, but I've never had to. So that's very scary for me. I'd much rather have somebody just fucking lifting my shoulders up or something. I'm very fucking petrified. And I really genuinely don't believe I'm gonna do it. I don't think so. I don't think I can. I don't know. Am I being a bitch? You know what, y'all? I'm gonna be so honest, because I always am. I'm not gonna do it. I know myself already. I've already psyched myself out enough. It's been too much of a break. I just, I fucking can't. Maybe next time. But no, damn it. You know what? Fuck it, yo. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. Just yell at me. That's fine. I'm very scared though. What are you gonna go for? One, just one. Just I literally one just want one. Pop. Just one. Oh my god, I'm gonna shit myself. Okay. I'm gonna yell though. That's fine. You might hear a little uh, bit. No, it's fine. I'm out. Oh. Oh. Easy. Oh. I'm looking for one more. One yeah. more. One, two, three. Let's go. Oh. Get out. Oh. Oh my god, I'm shaking. Thank you. I know how to safely do it. I just have never had to. <laughs> All right, same thing, right? Same exact thing. We'll see how many I can do. That was amazing. Thank you, Derek. It was an amazing set. I think I see coaches like powerlifting and does powerlifting himself. He had me put the stoppers at my, I think he called it a standing point, my still point. He paused there with the bar and then shot right up. That was amazing. I think there were pin squats. That was fire. Take off your rings. I still have like three workouts left. Whew. Let's get it. <sighs> Let's move to the next one. All right, y'all. So that motherfucker wore me out. But the best part about it is. <laughs> I just made a new gym friend. He was super cool, super chill. I love making new gym friends. I was gonna get on the hack squat for y'all, but y'all already saw that and my quads already burnt from that one little extra exercise he had to do. Actually, it was two, because I didn't record one of them. So I think I'm actually gonna replace those with sissy squats. Don't say nothing. I know, might as well just get on the hack squat. <laughs> sissy squats are hard, but I really do want to incorporate those in my quad and hammies days. So I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I'm feeling a little nauseous too. God. Can we get a burp counter? I feel like this might be the day. <laughs> Jesus. Bro, what the fuck? I did this to myself. We're gonna go harder than I expected up in this fucking video. Let's go. Come on, bitch. this bro oh no my quads are not happy with me right now we have the guest quads yet my quad mommy yet what up let's go you're not a fucking bitch you're not a fucking bitch let's go come on Ugh. 
once more. Oh my god, this shit fucking burns. Shit fucking burns worse than a UTI. Whew. I don't know if I've felt a burn like this in a while. We're going up. Who said we were going up? My finger just moved that fucking weight. <laughs> Who said we were going up? <clears throat> my alter ego. You ain't bitch me. Let's go. <laughs> Jesus loves you, but I don't. Two more. fire fucking like that when you need to use your upper body to get you up. My hair looks crazy from this angle, but it looks cute from up here. <laughs> Who in the fuck do I think I am? Wow, this is a terrible angle. I will say it's true. Me and that guy were talking a little bit about the fact that like when you're in an environment that everybody else around you is going fucking hard and you can hear and see it, now nah, it pushes you to different limits. Either way, you gotta count on you no matter what. You gotta keep yourself accountable, but I'm not gonna lie and say it doesn't push you. It does. Straight up, I don't even know how my lashes are still on. I'm sweating like a bitch. I gotta be honest with y'all, my channel was never meant for kids. Cause the amount of cursing I did, I don't even count. All right, everyone, thank you so much for working out with me. Thank you for spending time with me. I am so happy to have y'all be a part of this journey. I will see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs> Son casting para los que valoran